Happy Friday, folks. My name is Adrian with Project Ramos, and today we're going to be unboxing some items that I brought in from Amazon uh, to, uh, in some ways, uh, to upgrade my uh, studio set here. And uh, it's some practical, practical items, um, and I wanted to unbox them here. That way you guys can uh, take a look at them, and then also uh, just so I can walk or uh, talk through... Um, what I'm bringing these items in for it might give you uh, some ideas for uh, your own setups if you do any live streaming or just uh, you know if you want to have if you see anything that's cool here because uh, I'm also gonna talk a little bit about uh, um, some of the reasons why I picked uh, for instance this item in particular which is a, an, a portable hard drive here so um, if you're watching the recorded version, you can still shop all the products that we're going to be talking about here today. So, and then also if you're watching the recording ver recorded version over on Facebook or YouTube, I'm going to have the links to all the products in the description as well as a link to my shop, my Amazon shop page. Uh, I'm, uh, I would appreciate it if you would have followed my Amazon shop page because I do a bunch of unboxings on Amazon Live and the best experience is to follow me there because you can shop the products as we're talking about them and then you can ask me questions in the chat room while we are talking about the uh, products and uh, so definitely uh, follow me there I would appreciate that and also I'm going to be uploading full reviews on everything that I unbox here onto my Amazon shop page so you can check out my final thoughts after using these items for a little while um, on my shop page so definitely follow me there and if you are watching right now on um uh, on Amazon let me know in the chat room that way I can say hi to you I always like to know who's watching and uh, also if you have any questions as I mentioned about any of the products that we're going to be talking about here today definitely let me know in the chat room and then we'll discuss so as I already mentioned uh, everything that I'm going to be unboxing here tonight are items that I um, brought in from Amazon to be able to uh, change up my my background here slightly um, uh, I have some other items still coming in I'm waiting for those to come in this weekend uh, part of it uh, just to give you a little insight here is some shelving for this little section right here because I want to be able to move this guy back here this little diffuser humidifier type thing I want to move it over here and then also one of the things that I just brought in today I want to put it up on this side as well so uh that kind of gives you a little bit of context of what today's live is going to be about. So let's go ahead and feature the first product here. And let me switch over to my overhead camera. There we go there. Okay, so what this is, is uh, an electric screwdriver. Um, oddly enough, the leading brands in electric screwdrivers don't feature, at least here at uh, at the home my local home depot here they don't have this little section here where you can set the tension of the uh, of the screwdriver so that uh, the screwdriver will automatically stop before it strips uh, the screw that you're that you're working on there so uh, I think it's called a chuck but anyhow these regular screwdrivers these handheld screwdrivers uh, don't have that the beefier ones are the ones that have that so you know I find that a little odd but I found this one on Amazon so I wanted to check it out because it does feature that chuck right here and this is something that I want uh, to have handy to me here in the studio that way um, you know I can easily uh, unscrew something if I'm unboxing something that needs to be unscrewed or anything I have this handy so that's why uh you know i'm classifying that as a uh, studio upgrade if you will uh so let's go ahead and get this guy unboxed i just need to change something on my stream here give me one quick second um i made a few changes to my stream so i'm hoping uh everything's looking good here and uh all right here we go looks a lot better there all right Let's go ahead and get this guy unboxed. 
Again, if you have any questions on any of the items that we're going to be unboxing here, uh, let me know in the chat room. And also, uh, don't be shy. Say hi. That way I know who is tuned in. All right. Right away, we get the instruction manual. Um, it is in English because right away I seen that it was in uh, Chinese here, but uh, there is an English side to it. And as far as accessories go, they give you some bits here. So you got a uh, dual bits, uh, Phillips to flathead, uh, another Phillips to Phillips, and a Phillips to Phillips. And this one is a Phillips to Phillips, but then this one has the magnetic head here to be able to hold the uh, screws. And then you've got a little case here for for these bits. All right. And also in the bag is a USB type A to USB type C charging cable. And that is it for the box. The product is highlighted in the carousel, so if you want to check this one out. All right, here it is. I'm not expecting any crazy performance out of this. Um, you know, so I'm really looking forward to just using this for just, you know, real simple, uh, you know, uh, removing screws off of small items. Nothing crazy. But here's a chuck here, and this is really what interested me in, on this product, is to be able to set this chuck to different tensions. That way... Uh, you know, you won't strip any of the screws that you're working on there. So let's see. All right. So it looks like maybe the power button. That's, oh, there we go. Okay. So there is no power button. It's just automatically on. And then when you do push either the different directions here, it shows you the battery level. So if you hold it down, you can see that it's fully charged at the moment. So right now, I'll set it at the lowest setting. So if I hold this, it should. Yeah, you can hear You can hear the chuck. So it's going to stop screwing the item that you're working on there. All right, there we go. Yep, you can hear it working. So it has different levels here. And then if you put it on the max level, it won't. It's not going to stop. So it works as expected. This is forward, this is reverse, or clockwise, counterclockwise. Working as expected. Now, as far as the charging port goes, there is a, um, it's back here and it's covered up. So you just remove that little rubber cover and the USB type C charging port is found right there. Very simple tool, but it's one of those tools that is going to come in handy. Um, you know, if, uh, as I mentioned, if we're unboxing something here live, you know, we can uh, quickly just do that using this tool here. Okay, so we can lock that in. So now, you know, we need to unscrew something. We just simply do that here. And uh, the only thing to note here is that it doesn't have variable speed as far as the the, the speed of the screwdriver. It's just one speed, but it does have the chuck, so that is a plus. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next product that I brought in for quote unquote studio upgrades. Now, as I mentioned um, earlier in the stream when we first started here, I'm going to be installing some uh, shelving that's going to show up here on, on my main shot. So let me switch over to the main shot. So this section right here, I'm going to uh, install some floating uh, shelves there. And I plan to put this guy on one of the shelves. This is uh, for no other reason other than I think it's going to look cool back there. Taking me a second here to open it up. Once again, let me know in the chat room that you're who is here. That way I can say hi to you. And if you have any questions on any of these products, let me know in the chat and uh, we can discuss. And if you're watching the recorded version after the fact, you can shop all of these products on my Amazon shop page. 
All right, so here it is. It's an on-air sign. This thing powers up through USB, and the USB cord has a on and off switch built into it. And it's a real simple thing. It's a decorative thing for me. I'm just going to have it uh, back here, and uh, I'll have it turned on when we are streaming here. So hopefully you guys join me on the next live, and you'll be able to see this in, uh, once it's all installed after this weekend. So I've got it plugged in now. So let me go ahead and turn it on. Huh. Oh, there's two power buttons. Interesting. Okay. So maybe this power button, because you can install batteries on this. So you can, you can either operate it off of batteries or plug it into a, um, a uh, USB charging brick. And then you also get wall mounts here. Okay, so there's another switch over here. I didn't notice that. So oh, there it is. It's on. So it's definitely working as expected. You got the red uh, plastic here and then the clear cutouts here that says on air. And so the light shines right through there. Very cool. So I think this is going to look pretty cool in my uh, background there. Um, let me switch over to my main camera here so you can see what I'm talking about here. So back here, that's where it's going to go. So this thing's going to sit back there and then you can see how it's a little bit dark back there so with the fact that the sign illuminates it should look pretty cool looking forward to getting that installed and uh, ready to go there all right let's move on to the next product this isn't going to be a super long uh, broadcast here just wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that i've brought into uh to for the studio okay this next one is actually marketed as a DJ light. Um, so uh, I'm also a DJ and uh, for DJing events, uh, one of the popular things that DJs have now for weddings is uplighting. And that's where you run these type of lights along uh, the walls of the venue. And then you can change the colors depending on what the wedding party is. And uh, looks really nice. However, this one is marketed as being an uplighting for DJing, but you know, uh, this one doesn't look like it's, well, who knows? I don't know how powerful it's going to be, but, uh, the ones that are meant for D that are made for DJing, um, they're too powerful to use here in the studio. This one looks smaller. So I think this one's going to be perfect to use in here. As you can see, I'm already using a lot of RGB lighting to, uh, color my background here. So this guy, it's going to be in addition to what I've already got set up here. So we've got uh, a user, user's manual. Let's take a look at the accessories. So we've got an AC uh, adapter here. Uh, and here is the unit. And we also get a remote to be able to change the different colors of the unit. All right. I see a bunch of folks uh, logged in here on Amazon. I would appreciate you guys if you were to follow my Amazon page because, if you, well, first of all, if you're into electronics like I am, that's the type of products that I like to unbox here on Amazon Live. So, I would appreciate it if you were to follow my page. That way you get notified in the app when I do go live. Okay, so this light is actually fully featured. So it really is built for DJs, but I, I, I'm planning on using this here in the studio. So you can see you get the three um, uh, LED lights here. And then on the side here, you get an on and off button. And then you get the DMX uh, connections here. So DMX in, DMX out. That way you can use these in series and be able to control all of them uh, at the same time. Then you get the power uh, connection there. On the flip side, this is going to show you uh, the RGB color that um, is set. And then it shows you the intensity of the light. And then it gives you physical buttons to be able to... Uh, change the settings on the light in case if you lose a remote or you don't have the remote handy. And then in addition to uh, you have this little vent right here. What that is right there, that's a mic. So you can set this up 
to flash different colors um, and it'll go along to the beat of the music that is playing. And then on this side, there is a mounting screw hole here. So if you do want to mount these on a uh, on some trussing, you can do that as well. And then at the bottom, you get these um, uh, plastic uh, feet here. And then also you get another mounting screw hole there. So you get a few mounting options. And uh, that is pretty much it for the light. So let's go ahead and get this guy plugged in and just, just to get a real quick idea of how this thing works just give me a second here all right all right it's plugged in now i'm gonna go ahead and turn it on it is on now hmm. okay there we go now it's on so A001 is what it's set to at the moment. So let's go ahead and increase. I don't see any light coming out of this thing. Maybe I should read the instructions, but. Oh, there we go. All right. Oh, this thing's pretty bright. Okay, so that is flashing uh, different colors there. Yeah, there's different modes here. Very cool. Let's see. So that is for... Okay, so you can cycle through the different colors here. Very cool. Well, I think actually you can you can use this for, uh, for DJing. This thing is very bright. So what I was thinking of doing with this thing um, is, let me switch over to this camera, is again, kind of lighting up this uh, this little dark section back here using a different color or maybe the the, um, the curtain there. Um, I just got to find the, the right color to use here. So you can see maybe like a red or something, just something real intense right there to just kind of light up that little dark area. So I'm either going to use it there or I'm going to use it back over here. So it's a little plane back here. So maybe flashing the, uh, yeah, I don't know. We're going to play around with it and see how uh, we can use this light to uh, change the look in here a little bit, you know, just enhance the look. I'm going to try this uh, remote control here real quick. And there it is there. So on off, um, let's try green. Yep. Remote works as expected. So you got all the different, uh, let me switch over to my overhead cam here. You got all the different colors here. So if I hit, let's say, um, purple, you can see it switches to purple. I'll hit yellow, immediately switches to yellow. And then if I hit auto, it's going to cycle through all the different colors. Strobe effect, very cool. Fade effect. All right, so I take it back. No, this thing's pretty strong. I think this can actually do really well for uh, DJing events. Yeah, I'm really impressed by this light. I wasn't expecting much, but it, it's actually very good. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next product. Let me know if you guys have any questions on any of this stuff here tonight. That way we can discuss. And uh, we're up to our last item. I'm gonna be going live again tomorrow. I've got a ton of stuff to unbox. Um, Tomorrow, maybe we're going to work on unboxing. Let's see here. I have some wireless mics um, that I need to unbox. So I think we're going to work on those tomorrow early uh, because I need to get those unboxed so I can test them. Um, there, I've got a range of options, some that are really affordable and then all the way up to uh, just under 200 bucks. So definitely uh, follow my Amazon page that way you get notified and you can join me and we can discuss uh, wireless mics if you guys are into that and as I said I'm into it, all electronics so I've got a variety of stuff that I'm bringing in from Amazon and unboxing here on Amazon live so let's go ahead and get this next product unboxed here let me uh, kind of explain why I brought this in so currently right now I'm recording this live on a Samsung T5 the T5 is a great hard drive. Um, however, the transfer speed is about 
roughly between 500 to six, 500 to 580 megabytes a second. The T7 is double that. So performance-wise, this one is a lot faster than the T5. I'm happy with the T5. However, I took a look on Amazon and the price came down significantly on the T7. So, and the thing is, you know, you have SSDs now that go two terabytes. They can go all the way up to four terabytes, but they're very expensive. Me personally, the way I like to uh, manage my files is one terabyte hard drives now are very affordable but it's plenty of space. So what I'd like to do is use a high performance hard drive like this one, put all my current projects on here, work on them. And when I'm done, then I move them off to the old, you know, uh, spinning hard drives, the ones that you can get like a, you know, 10 her uh, 10 terabyte hard drive for like, you know, 120 bucks. And I have one here on my desk. And so I just archive onto them and then just, you know, throw the finished products onto or finished projects onto the external drive there. But this is going to be my working drive. And uh, so right now I'm using a T5 to record the show here. And it it demands a lot out of a hard drive to be able to record um, a show like this. So I want to replace that T5 with this T7. So let's go ahead and get this guy unboxed. And if you guys have any questions on any of this stuff here, uh, let me know in the chat room. I'd be happy to discuss them. And also, don't be shy. Say hi. So I know that you're here. All right, so let's get this guy opened up. And one of the things I love about these Samsung SSD drives is that they're very compact, but they're built very well. My T5 I've had for easily at least three years now, and it's still going strong. Matter of fact, it's, it's what's recording this stream right now. All right, so before we open up the, or take a look at the hard drive, let's see what we get. All right, so we get the instruction manual there. And then we get some cables here. So we got a USB Type-C to USB Type-C, and then a USB Type-A to USB Type-C. And uh, Samsung typically uh, packs in some really good performing cables with their hard drives. I still use the one that came with my T5. All right, so here's the hard drive itself. And as you can see, it's very compact. It's a little heavier than the one terabyte T5 that I have, but it is skinnier, it's thinner. Uh, so the form factor, it, it, lengthwise, it's a little bit longer, but it is a little bit thinner. But nonetheless, very compact and then as far as the physical features of it you got the usb type c charging or not charging port but usb type c uh data port there and then you get an led indicator light here um, that turns on when you plug these hard drives in so that is it for this hard drive and as far as the performance goes uh as i mentioned this thing can do up to a gig per second and um Earlier this week, we unboxed a bunch of Thunderbolt 4 cables and also a Thunderbolt 4 um, dock made by Satechi. So that's another reason why I wanted to bring this hard drive in is because I wanted to test the speed of that hub and make, you know, to see uh, uh, the performance of it using a high performance hard drive. So that's another reason why I wanted to have this on hand uh, for that testing, which Again, I'm going to remind everybody, follow my Amazon page. Uh, that way you guys can check out the review once I'm done with it on the on that Satechi uh, hub. That is going to do it for me here tonight, folks. Uh, again, I would appreciate it. Follow if you're watching the recorded version on Facebook or YouTube. Click uh, the Amazon shop link on, in the description that I'm going to have there. Um, and then follow my Amazon page. That way you can join me the next time I go live. And then also I'm going to be linking all the products in the description that we unboxed here uh, tonight. And if you're watching the replay on Amazon, thank you for finding me on Amazon, first of all. And secondly, if you're not following me, follow me. Uh, as you can tell, I'm really trying to build a community here on Amazon. It's, uh, it's something that I really enjoy doing. I really enjoy uh, going live on here and presenting products that are very useful or unique. Uh, so definitely, uh, I appreciate you guys joining me here tonight. 
I'm going to go ahead and sign off if you guys don't have any questions, which it looks like you guys don't. So I will see you guys hopefully on tomorrow's stream. Adios.